Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out. So today is for my beginners. You should have some basic knowledge or fundamentals of the major scale. We're going to be building triads off of that. I'm going to give you a workout that you can use, a practice regimen that you can use in the beginning stages of your playing. You may have been playing for a while and you may not have done this exercise at all. So it might be for you as well. So just stay tuned and we're going to go through mainly memorizing the triads, the names of them. So in the future, you'll be able to identify each chord or each triad or even creating bass lines just using and identifying the names of the notes. So here we go. So first and foremost, we're going to do this in the key of C and we're going to work our way up the scale. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then we come back around to C. So for every single note that we're gonna play, we're gonna create a triad off of that. So I'm gonna list on the screen the names of the notes of each triad. So we have to memorize this and also play it. And it's an easy way to memorize that because you're just skipping every other note to create a major or minor triad. Now, we're going diatonically to the scale. Diatonically means the notes are inside of the scale that we're gonna use. Okay, so you may have a minor triad, you may have a major triad. In this lesson, we're gonna list out all of the triads. So first and foremost, C, E, G. So not necessarily important that you play this right now, but I want you to see this and recognize where this comes from. C, skip a note, D, or sorry, not D. So C, skip a note, E, skip a note, then G. Okay, so I want you to see that visually, that you can create a triad just by doing that. Listing the scale, naming the scale, the notes of the scale, picking one, then going, skipping another one, and then skipping another one. You create a three note triad. We may go over positioning and how to play this a little bit later, but I mainly want you to see how this is created. So no matter where you start, you'll be able to identify whatever that triad is. So first one, C, E, G. I'll put the next one on there. D, F, skip one, F, A, there you go. That's your second triad. C, E, G, D, F, A. Okay, you can play these all different types of ways. You can play C, G, E, you can play D, F, A here, or you can play D, F, A here, and we'll talk about that a little later. The next one, what's the next one? All we're gonna do is just go in order of the notes. So the next one is E. So E, skip a note, skip that F, and then G, skip that next note, B, okay? So it's very important to know, once you get past that scale, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it goes back around to A, or the scale itself, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, it goes back to C, okay? So you skip that note. So if we're creating, uh, we're creating an exercise or a triad from E, so you have the E, you skip the F, you have G, now you go back to, or you skip another note, and then you go to B, okay? So that's just an easy way to outline that. The next one, I think we got it so far. The next note, F, A, C, okay? Or F, A, C. It's gonna be a major triad. And I'll list that out too, which is major and which is minor, okay? So you'll know. Also, it'll help with the position and the pattern of these triads so you'll know them all over the place. Next one, G. Skip the A. B, and then we have D, okay? You skip the, the next note. Okay, so G, B, D, you skip that C, right? And that's what I was talking about. Now we come back around and we skip that note. So we have G, B, you skip the C, and then you go to D, okay? Uh, the next one, so we start on that note, the A, we skip a note, we skip B, we go to C, and then we have E. So A, C, E. The next one, we're going to play B, the next note of the scale. D, skip a note. And then we're skipping another note, which lands us right on our F. And then we're actually done. <laughs> then you come back around to the top of the scale. You can do that again if you would like, which is the first exact triad that we did in the beginning. Okay, so you get the gist of it, right? So now you have to visualize this. This will never really, this will never change. Okay, so depending on what key you're in, this format will never change. C, E, G, D, F, A, E, G, B, F, A, C, G, B, D, A, C, E, B, D, F. 
and then we're back to the top. So take your time memorizing these triads so you can just say them without even playing them. C, E, G, D, F, A, E, G, B, D, F, A, C. So you can just say them and then you'll be able to match the notes with what's on the fretboard. So I just want you to practice that. I don't want you to focus too much on the notes or playing them right now, but just identifying where they are. In the next section, we're gonna be identifying and playing these notes and figuring out different ways we can do that as a little exercise. It'll be really quick, but take this slow, nice, clean, clear, and precise, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.